Hey everyone, this is Kale from wordofmouth.org, and I'm here with Word of Mouth Crash Course speaker Brian Bunt. How's it going, Brian? Doing good. How about yourself, Kale? Oh, great, great. Hey, so can you tell us a little bit about the case study you're presenting on May 10th? Sure. The uh, title of the case study is WOMs, Not Bombs. And one way to think about it is you put a lot of time and resources to gain new customers. And once you have them, what do you do then? How do you start a nuclear chain reaction that gets that customer to tell their friends and family about the great stuff you just sold to them and the amazing experience you took them through? Awesome, awesome. So, um, you know, what are like three of the big ideas that you think um, attendees are going to take away from your case study? Well, the biggest idea you'll take away is how to channel your inner mad scientist. You're going to learn how to start a chain reaction and realize that there are no bad ideas. You know, when we're brainstorming and our team's working on new concepts, we frown on any individual that says me. Being negative is a surefire way to get a Nerf dart in the forehead in our uh, conference room. (laughs) You never know where a so-called bad idea may take you. Awesome, awesome. Um, Okay, so we got, uh, you know, your your mad scientist. Um, Are there, what about some other lessons you're going to teach them? The other one you could really walk away with is there's really no technology needed. I mean, sure, social, social media is uh, very sexy, and it's used in a lot of case studies, but um, unfortunately, while well, we've been somewhat blessed and cursed with the fact that our customers are very late adopters to the social media scene. So what our focus is primarily on what we like to call organic word of mouth, where consumers are telling other consumers face-to-face about the products and experience they're having with you. It's them starting that chain reaction for you. Awesome, awesome. And um, so, talk about that chain reaction. How do you, how do you guys at Windsor One, how do you ignite um, these chain reactions? Well, what we tr- try to do is just find that talker behind the talker. You know, the guy down in the trenches that you might not, might not be the first guy that you're going to go after, but then they're the ones that are really toting your product, toting the experience they've had with your company, and they're going to be the ones that are really going to. Just, you know, basically think of it as just pressing the button. This guy's going to explode and tell a ton of people about that positive experience they've had with you. And, you know, just get up in the stands and scream out the name of your brand. Awesome. And do you guys have any um, tips or techniques on how you, you're you able to identify the those talkers, the ones that are, are really going to explode? Yeah, you know, really what we've found is it's just a lot of throwing spaghetti. Um, you know, getting in there, throwing a bunch of ideas up, and seeing what sticks to the wall. You know, one thing that a lot of people, I think, get stuck with is they'll try one idea, and maybe it fails. You know, it crash and burns, and they get scared. You know, companies are like, well, we just put all this time in, and it didn't work. You know, because no one heard about it, no one was talking about it. But you got to keep trying. You know, you never know which one's going to be that guy that just goes out there and starts telling everybody about you. Yeah, right on. That's that's one of our um, our big lessons that we're always pushing. You know, try a lot of ideas. Uh, you know, if it doesn't work, that means no one knows because no one talked about it. So so try again. So we're big fans of that thinking. You know, and um, uh, you know, one thing that we've come across too is that you know we we sell wood. It's um, not the most amazing product out there. It's not the new iPad. But we have thousands of people talking about us because we've learned how to identify and just thought of creative ways to reach those talkers. So whether you're selling shoes, headsets, alcohol, I mean, it doesn't matter. There's people out there that want to rave and talk about you. You just have to give them something to talk about, and that's what we'll focus on as well. Great. So, so what about you, Brian? As um, you know, as a consumer, I know you're um, you're a big kind of word of mouth thinker. Um, do you have a favorite word of mouth story of all time? Yeah, one one of my favorite ones was actually uh, about a year ago. I was in Florida for a conference and uh, went to a restaurant called Vines, and uh, it was a kind of a wine bar a steakhouse. When we walked in there, as soon as you sat down, waitress comes over with this big steaming plate of bacon. And it was just kind of just blown away. What's up, what's up with this? And, you know, ask her about it. And she's like, oh, well, we don't believe in uh, your regular bar, you know, room fares around here. When you come and eat at Vines, you get bacon. And, I mean, bacon kept coming all night. As soon as the plate was empty, another plate would show up. We ended up, uh, we took two customers out to dinner that night, and we ended up telling everybody at the conference the uh, next day about it. And 
I think we had about 20 people there the next night. And uh, just one of those things where they don't advertise it and uh, just made a really positive uh, experience, fun place to be, and it was r- rather unique compared to most other restaurants we go to. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, that's our other big lesson is when in doubt, add bacon. <laughs> exactly. Awesome. Well, thanks, Brian. And for everyone else, that's all the time we have for now. Uh, But come to the Word of Mouth Crash Course. It's in Austin. It's on May 10th. Um, You're going to learn from Brian and a bunch of other brilliant speakers. It's one day of love, happiness, and word of mouth. Learn all about it at wordofmouth.org slash crash course. Thanks, Brian. Thank you.